Hey guys, Harv here, creator of the Downtown Zuzu mod, among others. Uh, and today, I'm back with another episode of my Stardew Valley mod making guide, where I guide you through the basic things you need to know for making your own Stardew Valley mod. So, today on episode 2, we're going to be looking at making your first map to add to the game. So, first up, you're going to want to download Tiled. Tiled is a map and level editor. So basically you can place these things called tiles all over this map that you're creating and add things basically. So we're going to do that now. So once you're on mapeditor.org you're going to see tiled. You're going to want to go down to download on itch.io and press download now. Uh, I mean you can pay if you want but um, I've donated already, I've donated before, so I'm not going to pay again. <laughs> so, take me to the downloads, and then for your respective system, you're going to want to pick one. 64-32 uh, bit um, stuff, if you don't know if you have a 64 or 32 bit system, if you go onto your start menu, then settings, you can see, uh, I think it's here, yeah, about, about system, here. You'll see if you have a, I think, yeah, you'll see here, a 64 bit operating, operating system. If you've got a 64 bit operating system, then you can download the 64 bit version. If not, download the 32 bit. Or if you have a Mac OS or Linux, download these. So you're going to download that and then make sure you have Tiled installed. Once you have Tiled installed, you're going to want to open it up. some of the maps. So now you've got tiled uh, open and installed and everything, you're going to go ahead and go to new map. You're going to want to select orthogonal, which basically means that the, the tiles will be square shaped, uh, not like isometric, which is triangle shaped tiles. Right down, you're going to want to switch that to left down, so basically uh, the origin will be in the top left. Go like that. That's how Stardew Valley does it. Just gonna set this a bit lower for tutorial. 25. You can't have infinite with Stardew Valley maps. So just leave that as it is. Make sure this is set to CSV. If it's set to Base64, then it won't work on Mac OS or Linux systems. You know, and we want everybody to be able to use our mod. So go to save as. Go to our folder that we created last episode. Go to assets. I've already made one, but you'll want to call it map and make sure it's in the tiled map files format.tmx. Save. Okay, perfect. Now we have our brand new map. It's completely blank, currently nothing on it, and that's not what we want. We want some stuff on it. We want to be able to walk around. So I'm going to go ahead to this tile layer 1, click name, switch that to back. This is your ground layer, this is everything that's going to be on the back of your map. So the ground, the dirt, whatever else. Water, if you're adding a river or something, something like that. Make sure you have this called back. Then go ahead and create new object layer. Put that just above the back one and call it back as well. This is where you're going to put all your back like tile properties. New tile layer buildings. This is where everything that will have collision will go. So if you want to add a wall or you know the edge of a river or a cliff or a car or you know whatever else you want to add, put that on the buildings layer. Object layer, do the same thing, add buildings. Next up we have tile layer paths. Sorry. These are, you, you don't use them that much, but um, they're pretty useful when it comes to adding trees and bushes and lights. So it basically means you don't have to do annoying map properties, you can just add the path and then it's there. Do the same thing with that, add object property, layer, sorry. Now go to tile layer, again, front. Front is everything like a bush where you stand behind it. It will appear in front of you. But if you stand in front of it, it will appear behind you. 
that kind of thing. The same thing at the object layer. And then our last one, always front. Make sure there's no gap there. No gap between always and front. This is everything that will always appear in front of you. No matter what, no matter where you are stood next to it. Do the same thing at an object layer. Right, perfect. Now we have our one, two, three, four, five main layers. It means we can get started making our map. So now go on to the back layer and press new tile set down here. Okay, now we're going to make our new tile set. What you need to do to do this though, you need to make sure you have all of the game files unpacked. So, sorry, XMB hack. Go ahead and type in Stardew XMB hack, and it's this first link by Pathos. You click on there. And see here where it says to install it. Make sure you have Smappy and Stardew installed, obviously. It's the releases page. And then download um, whichever works in your system. So I want to download Windows one. I'm going to go ahead, make sure you extract this, obviously. Because it won't work inside the zip file. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to get this .exe file. You're going to go to Steam. Oh, wrong game. Go to Steam, and then right click, browse local files. Now, once you're here, obviously, I've already got the uh, application there. You're going to put it here in the same folder as the Stardew Valley uh, .exe file. You're going to put it in the same folder. So just drag that in, move there. Replace if you already have it, which you won't. And then go ahead and run it. Right, it's going to load a game in instance. It basically, it's going to unpack all the game's files into pictures that you can use in your mods. So just let the game unpack everything. Ignore this. This is uh, an error. It doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. Okay, that's done. Go ahead and exit that. And then go here, content unpacked. This is what you want. So once you're in this content unpacked folder, go to maps, close all this, close, close, close. Okay. Now you're in this content unpacked folder, go to maps, go to here, spring town, spring town there. Control C to copy it, and then open your mod folder. The folder that we created. Go into assets, paste that. So now you've got this file, and do the same thing with summer. With the summer town file, paste that in there as well. And then the same thing with fall. And then do the same with winter. Okay. So now we have all these pictures. I mean, they're no use to us on their own. So we're going to have to add one as tiles in our map. So go to here to new tile set and press browse. Go to our mod folder, assets, and select Springtown. This is the one that everybody works with because it's like the basic season. So make sure this box is ticked. If it's not, then it won't work. Make sure embedded map is ticked. If not, um, it'll save it as a separate file. It'll get messy, and I've I had loads of maps lost because of that. So just make sure you have that ticked. Press OK. And now here we have this sheet of pictures we can use on our map. Brilliant. So we're just going to go ahead and select, I don't know, this stone tile. I'm going to place that about a bunch. Obviously, that's really ugly. It's going to do this. Doesn't have to look amazing. This is just our first practice mod after all. So we're just going to do that. It 
to do the stamping thing where you like pick up a bunch of them, you right click and hold and then release and you'll get this stamp tool which you can just place everywhere. So we've got our base for something to walk on. But the game doesn't know that this tile is made of stone. So when you walk on it it'll just make a weird noise that makes no sense. So we're gonna go down here on this little wrench icon, press that, and we're here. We're gonna select the tiles that we used, and we're gonna see here on custom properties, press plus, type, press OK, and then in the type box, the second box, put stone. Now the game knows when you walk on that it should make a um, stone noise, like you're walking on stone. Alright, very cool. Now that we have our floor, something for the player to walk on, we really need something to walk into just to test that everything's working properly. So just take anything you really want, uh, a house, a car, I'm just going to use Pam's RV for this, or Pam's trailer, whatever you want to say. And then, but we don't want the player to walk into the back, do we? No, that makes no sense. So delete that and put it on the always front layer so that when the player walks into it they can walk in front behind it sorry yeah they can walk behind it and then this roof will appear in front of the player like you're actually walking behind it all right that is basically our simple map we can add a lot more but i don't want to do a whole lot in this video because i think doing too much you know it can get confusing and it's best to do things at a slow pace so, we've got our basic map, we're loading our basic map in with this content.json file that we made in the last episode, see that there, custom underscore village assets maps, and we've got our map and our manifest.json, that's basically everything you need for a basic mod, for a basic location mod. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our mod, control C to copy it, and then go to our mods folder. Uh, if you don't know how to get there, you can go here, manage, browse local files, mods, and then just paste it in. I, I, obviously I've got loads of mods installed, but all we need for this is content patcher and our mod got our mod installed, we're going to go ahead and press play to open the game with our mod. We're going to have a look around, see how our location looks. Okay, now we're in the game, we haven't actually got a way to go to our location yet. So, you know, we've not got a door or a wall that we can enter, or a tunnel, or anything like that. So, I'm going to go into our smappy console here. Type debug war and then our location name, which in my case is custom underscore village, and we're gonna add coordinates to walk to, which is one. Now it's gonna teleport us to our location. Now, obviously, this is not very get glamorous, and it doesn't look that great. It's you know, there's nothing much here. You can hear as we walk. Sounds like stone, and we're in a custom location, which is pretty cool. We can walk off the map because <laughs> we haven't added any borders yet, anything like that. But we can't walk into this trailer, and we can walk behind it, which is pretty cool. We've got all the basic things we really need, and that is pretty much going to do it for this episode. We've got our custom location, we've got all the basic things we need. And we'll move on to some more complex things in the next episode. I hope you guys will enjoy this episode. I hope you enjoy this series. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Or, as I said last episode, join the Discord and ask us there. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you in the next episode, guys.